the Crooked Tree Art Center speaking with the president, Liz Ahrens. Liz, can you kind of tell us what Crooked Tree Art Center is? I think the best way to describe us is we're a community center based in the arts, which means people can come look at art, they can listen to music, they can make art. We really do everything in the arts. And so just any time that they want to come in here, they can just come in here, look at everything, and look at all the exhibits that you have too, right? That's probably the easiest way. People walk across our door. There's no admission charge ever, so our exhibits change out every about three or four months. So anytime you can come in and look at art and even take art home, because a lot of art is for sale. And that's really cool. Are these local artists that that can come and um, display their arts here? There is. There's actually a great mix of local and anywhere. We're pretty much regional, and we've had a lot of people ask about it. Things are actually from like artists around the Great Lakes. So most of what you see is going to be truly what I call regional art. And that's really interesting. I mean, you have all of this art coming in and changing, and just for the community, they can just come in here anytime they want, buy, look, whatever it is. Yeah. Now, do you offer programs, you know, here that people can learn to paint or you know kids can come here and kind of have a field trip what what do you offer we actually almost offer too much sometimes we our calendar is so full so for instance this morning there was a school tour here so schools come in they tour the exhibit they, a volunteer teaches them about the artwork on the wall if you want to hear a concert we've got a concert Saturday night if you want to take a class everything from painting watercolor, pottery, dance. Uh, we do cooking classes, which are really popular. And then we have a whole lecture series. So truly, it depends. It doesn't matter what level of art you either create or like to listen to or learn. We've got it all. And that's really awesome. I mean, anybody can come in here with an idea on art or they want to make something and you provide it. We do. And actually, we have a really a couple of really great youth programs. We have a school of ballet and they perform the Nutcracker every December. So we're excited about that. They do a big production in June. And then we have a um, beginning strings program. So every student in Charlevoix and Emmett County in the third and fourth grade can learn to play either violin, viola, cello or bass at no cost. It's a huge program that we provide to the community. And that is really great for the kids who want to learn how to play an instrument. They can just do it anytime they want and just come here. Yeah, and so they, we actually go to the schools and we do it here. And the great part is third and fourth graders, they can take it once and then they say, you know, I loved it and maybe I'm on to soccer. Or if they're really great and they want to continue, then they can advance to our youth orchestra. So it really does, it kind of gets a kid to enjoy and learn something and yet you don't have to make a 20-year commitment. You can just have fun with it. And that's probably great for the parents, too. They don't have to devote so much time and money into that if their child does decide to change, you yes, know? absolutely. And with the, um, with the being in the schools, the parents don't have to bring them to the art center. And we also actually provide lots of scholarships. So if your child wants to take the violin, but maybe it you know, could be a hardship for you, we actually underwrite the cost of that rental. And that's really great, and I appreciate that. You know, you help the community out and you help the kids out. Now, one interesting thing that I did find out is that you have a farmer's market here. Can you explain to us what that is? You know, this has become a huge hit. Last year, we brought in the Petoskey Farmer's Market inside. They're outside June, July, and August. We brought them inside, so from October till June, farmers and artists, so we've got artisans and creating, you know, jewelry and baked goods and pies and vegetables every Friday from 10 to 1 from October till June. And that is great. I mean, people can come here. They can not only look at the art, they can not only buy the art, but they can also, is it, it's downstairs, correct? It is. Actually, it's connected to the building, the Carnegie Building, but you can actually sample art, too, because there's great yummy goods that you can taste. So you've got artisan bakers, so you can t sample their work, so you can take home jewelry, you can buy your vegetables, it, you can kind of, it's a one-stop shop for artists and farmers market. And that is really cool. I mean, you kind of get everything when you come to Crooked Tree Art Center. We, you know, we didn't always intend it to be that way, but it looks that we really have done it. And with the addition of the Artists and Farmers Market, it just brings people to the Art Center that have never been here before. And that's great for you, that's great for the Farmers Market, and that's great for the community. It is, and we really are. The community embraces us, and we embrace the community. That's why I truly call us a community center based in the arts. And I really like that, and thank you so much for telling us all this. Oh, it was great to be able to share our story. In Petoskey at Crooked Tree Arts Center, with My News 26, I'm Marlena Scarborough.